G'day, this is Simon at South OC Cars and Coffee. I'm with Paul who has our car of the week. Now, Paul is one of our volunteers and normally we do this at the end of the show. Well, this morning Paul rolled in his new car and it took me about 30 seconds to figure out nothing's going to eclipse this thing for car of the week this week. It is amazing. What is it, Paul? It's a 1956 uh, Chevy uh, Bel Air Sport Coupe. It is just so special. Check this thing out. Paul, this is a really special Tri-5. I mean, all of the 55, the 56, 57 are really, really special. Um, this thing is the real deal, though. Tell us about the car. How long have you owned it? And a, a little bit of history about the car. Okay. <clears throat> it's a, uh, as we said earlier, 56 uh, Chevy Bel Air. It's a, it's a 265 dual quad, three-speed on the column with a factory pies rear end. So somebody in the day ordered kind of a little bit of a hot ride. Yeah. Um, it is called Inca Silver and Colonial White Two-Tone, which is a pretty rare combination. Uh, factory Easy Eye Glass. It even has the seek and scan radio. When you push the bar, the uh, reader goes up and down and seeks the uh, AM station. Wow, so back in that day, yeah, in 1956, in that, day. Yep. that is absolutely amazing. Um, there are so many little details about this. Let's have a look in the trunk, because you were pointing this out earlier on. There's some cool stuff. This is the original spare tire from 1956. It's actually called US Royal and not Uniroyal, the original Jack. Wow. It's in there. And the thing that's really, really cool about the car is these are the one piece California bumpers. So cars that were made in California have the one piece bumpers and you know if there's only bolts on the side, you don't have bolts. No in bolts the in the middle. middle. Wow, what a little detail that is that's so cool. And the, all the stainless on the car, the bumpers, the hubcaps, everything is original to the car. It's not reproduction pieces. Let's, I mean, that's just so special. Let's have a look at this interior as well. The interior is called uh, white and charcoal. And if you look at the carpet, it's not a cut pile. Oh, it's, it's not either. They call that a D Daytona tight weave. Yeah. And the dash, if you notice, the first foray into a padded dash that was optional. Wow! In 1956. Okay, that is just amazing that somebody would order with all of those different things. Let's have a look under the hood as well, Paul, because it's really special under there. Okay. So this is the uh, 265 cubic inch high performance uh, engine from Chevrolet. It is the dual quad car to carburetor setup with, again, the um, solid cam. And uh, the only addition is that it does have a set of small tube headers. Yeah, I, I can see. So somebody's put that. So they weren't factory, obviously. Would have had cast it, manifolds, it, correct? Exactly, the cast manifolds. So again, you know, back in the day with the dual quad 265 power pack motor, the three speed, the posi rear end, and then day two, you put a set of headers on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This was just a little, little sleeper. Runs super good um, coming down the freeway at 65, no problem. I mean, let's talk about this for a moment. So 265, which is the V8, as you said, they used in the Corvette. But to think about it, a solid cam back in those days, not a hydraulic cam. Yeah. And for those people who, who don't understand what we're talking about, it means the lifters, the parts that actually run on top of the camshaft as it turns to push the push rods, to activate the rockers, to open and close the valves, those... Um, those lifters are actually solid, whereas on traditional motors, they use a hydraulic lifter, which gets pumped up from oil pressure. Now, it, the reason they like to do that is you have this instant connection between the camshaft, basically, and the valves, so you don't have any cushioning in the hydraulic. The downside of using a solid cam is you have to be prepared for a little bit of maintenance because the, um, whereas the lifters are a little bit forgiving, you literally have to go through the motor with a feeler gauge and make sure that e each, uh, each valve is in its fully closed position and the camshaft is in, in the, oh, I guess, the fully closed position. And then you get in there with a feeler gauge and adjust it. So it's a little bit of work to little, adjust them. A little bit of work, but you're a little higher up. Yeah. yeah. And the intake manifold um, even has the GM stamping on it and the W from the Winters found, uh, Foundry. 
as well. well which is interesting as well, because Winters, of course, they were the guys that went on motors like the L88, which right. had those incredible uh, uh, that aluminum uh, heads and those sort of things. They, they were cutting edge guys back in the day. They were, they were. But, and other than that, it's just uh, all stock and uh, pretty much original. Well, mate, it is an absolutely incredible car. And as our Car of the Week winner, of course, you get this Meguiar's complete kit, including the polishing sponge, cleaner wax, scratch remover, car wash, glass cleaner, interior detailer and hot shine foam keep this amazing amazing 1956 bel air looking in the condition that it is thanks for bringing it out thanks for being a volunteer mate we appreciate you so much what a special car thank you simon and thank you for putting on cars and coffee and giving us a place to go cruise on saturday morning appreciate it mate thank you